Hey guys, how's it going? Mohar here. Um, so I'm a New York based stylist and I am getting married uh, literally in like three weeks. Our wedding ceremony is finally around the corner. And thanks to Vera Shop, they've really helped out with having literally all things wedding items, anything to prepare me for the big day, starting from bridal shower stuff, bridal party, um, dress rehearsal outfits, you know, what am I going to wear to my after party? Um, Vera Shop has literally been the all in one place for all things wedding and it's been amazing. So today I'm actually going to be featuring um, anything that you want to put on your registry. So um, thanks to Vera Shop, there's a ton of really, really beautiful home items. Um, and so they are going to be part of my wedding registry. So it's super exciting. And today I'm going to show you guys, um, yeah, a lot of really great home items that you could feature on your own registry or, um, you know, just gifts in general for, you know, whether it's for your bridesmaids or like you want to give something to your mom and your aunts. Um, you know, traditionally in our family, we actually give gifts to pretty much every single guest that's attending um, for a lot of the smaller ceremonies too. So, you know, there's a lot of really great home items. So, uh, you know, that might be something that's kind of like a one gift fits all kind of thing. So, so yeah, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is, all right, so let's start here. So Lumera. Cuban tobacco candle. So this brand, by the way, this is like one of those nice, high end, very chic candle brands out there right now. Um, I got one right here. Oh my God, it smells really good. I wish, I wish you guys could smell, but I'm just letting you know, it smells really, really good. It's very, um, it, it's definitely more, more musky. Um, yeah, this is, it, it's, it's incredible. And the quality of these candles are insane. Like you light this up and your entire, you can pretty much smell it throughout your entire apartment, um, at least in New York, because our apartments are pretty on the small side. So um, yeah, so this is a really great uh, gift um, in general for any wedding registry. Um, it's also on sale right now for $53. That almost never happens. These candles are generally pretty, um, they're definitely more of a high end candle. Um, it's rare that I see these on sale. So the fact that it's on sale on Vera shop right now, like take advantage of that. That's a really, really great price. It smells really nice. It's also very chic. Um, you know, this black candle will go literally anywhere. So yes, this is absolutely something I would put on a registry. I'm a huge sucker for candles. Our home is filled with candles. Um, we have one in our bathrooms, in our bedrooms. Um, we have like 20 in our living room. So this one, I'm actually going to keep this one in the bathroom, but this one, it's just, it's so, so pretty. The black um, kind of fits my entire theme in the bathroom. So we're going to keep this one there, but it smells really, really good. And it's a really nice chic fancy candle if you want to impress somebody this is like the candle to kind of give and since we are on candles right now i'm actually going to show you guys another one i feel like candles make such good gifts you can pretty much i like i don't think i've ever met someone who's like oh i don't like candles. I just, I, I, I swear, I don't think I've ever actually met anyone like that. So it's one of those gifts where it's like, you can't go wrong with giving anybody a candle. And, you know, it's, you know, for men or women or whatever, it's just like a one gift suits all kind of thing. Um, and especially, um, oh my God, this one's so good. This one's amazing. All right. So this one is um, Brook by Brooklyn Candle. This is Santel. Anytime I see a scent that is called Santel, I am a huge sucker for it. I am totally going to buy it. This one also, like the Lumera candle, it's very chic looking, um, very minimalistic. It's black. Um, the thing about this candle is that it smells absolutely delightful, but it is definitely on the lower end side. So that's a huge plus. 
it's on sale for $29. That's a really good price. Um, and you know, whether it's something that you want on your own registry or just give this as a gift to, you know, any of your guests or any of your bridesmaids or whatever, it's small enough too, cause you got to think about, you know, the people who are traveling and you don't want to give gifts that are too big. Um, so something like a candle fits really well just into your bag. Um, so yeah, so I love this one smells super good. Um, and again, it's, it's black, it's chic. It like goes with everything. And then moving on. So I'm going to show you guys this marble napkin holder situation. Okay. I think these are so pretty. So I entertain a lot in my home and I'm always looking for nice ways to kind of, uh, you know, elevate the, you know, the sit down dinner, dinner party vibe, like what makes it look prettier. You know, before I used to kind of just sit the napkins out and I used to just like fold it nicely or do something like that. But then when I saw these on Vera shop, I was like, Oh my God, this is actually a very lovely way to, um, you know, make the napkins look a little bit fancier. Um, I really like the rustic look. That's kind of the theme that I'm going. So you're going to take a napkin here. See how this looks. I'm not like the best at origami, but this could be really great. Okay. Something like this. All right. All right. Got it down to something like this, right? So this is marble. Um, they're beautiful. Also, it's a weird thing. Napkin holders are weirdly expensive. I've seen this, um, you know, even, I, I don't know what it is, something about napkin holders. I've seen them be so expensive. And I saw this on Vera shop. I was like, oh my God, this is on sale. And um, you're going to get it for $6 for each of these things. And that's like unheard of. I usually don't see that price on napkin holders, especially this one. This one's marble. It's weighted. It's super heavy. Um, for so for example we actually always entertain out on our terrace and there's a huge uh uh like wind tunnel right here where we live in williamsburg so a lot of the times the napkins just kind of fly off our plate um something like this keeps it on there which is really great um and yeah again like six dollars you don't get something of this quality for six bucks each um so right here you're just gonna put it through and ta-da, it's really pretty. Um, so yes, yeah, so you got a nice little napkin holder thingy. You can just set it down on your plates and it looks really pretty. Um, so yeah, I love these. Um, again, we entertain so much. Um, so I'm always looking for something to kind of elevate the entire dinner experience. So I love that. Um, so some other kitchen stuff. All right, so Berghoff has a ton of, I guess, like everyday use things in the kitchen. Um, you know, these are things that I wanted to put on my registry because these are all these random items that I don't ever think about. And I'm like, I don't have them and I actually really need them. And I always find myself scrambling like last minute when trying to figure it out. And I just never have these items. So this one, so it's been grilling season. Um, and this is basically uh like it's really it's really really heavy not really heavy but it's just you know it's like good um quality and that's kind of what you want when you're dealing with a grill um the thing is it's it's sturdy enough and it's strong enough so you can put this set this down on your grill flip anything um you know and something like this like it's not super expensive at all it's on sale from 35 dollars to 16.99 um, really good price for something that's really good quality. Like this is something you can just feel it. It's going to last a lifetime. Um, and it's, it's basically like, it's a, it's a really good quality tong. Um, I grill so much, so I definitely needed something like this. I found myself using very basic tongs on the grill and that was probably a really bad idea because the heat could totally destroy your tongs over time. I actually have these silicone tongs and I don't think they're really working for me. So I found this and I was like, this is exactly what I needed. It's really good quality and it's gonna last me forever. And it was $16.99. I mean, it's, you can't beat that. 
So yeah, something for the grill. And then let's move on. So other small kitchen stuff that I was like, I could really use this. Okay, so something else from Berghoff. So another kitchen essential item that you probably don't think about and you're like, oh, I probably don't really need it. Um, and then it actually ends up being, it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, wow, I don't have one and I really need it the other day. I was making tzatziki sauce and I had to shred the, the cucumbers and I have this other thing and it's really small and it just wouldn't shred the cucumbers the way I needed it. So we're, we're actually going to do this right here. So it's, you know, you can shred a lot of things on this. You can shred carrots, cucumbers, vegetables. Um, I'm going to use this as uh, like a, a cheese shredder today. Um, so you just get a nice block of cheese, my favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. Um, and then we're actually going to use this side right now. So let's see how the blade is on this. Wow. The blade just kind of like, it's a really, really good quality blade. You can totally see, um, let's see. Ooh, yum. Okay. All right. So it's shredding the cheese and it's just a really, really good quality blade right there. Um, and that's what you want. Um, and the thing about these things, like when you have one that has a really good quality blade on it, in order to maintain these, you don't want to put it in the dishwasher, but otherwise this is pretty, this is pretty awesome. Um, and it has four different ways of using it. So you can use it as a slicer um, and then you can shred it really uh, thin, uh, super thin or a little bit on the thicker side, which is what we just did right now. Um, so yeah, so I love stuff like this. Um, again, this is on sale for $12. It's just one of those very basic items that uh, I find myself needing in the kitchen all the time. Um, and you're probably wondering like, why would I put this on my registry? Like this seems like silly. So one thing that you wanna be considerate of, and I'm just thinking, you know, everyone has different budgets. And, um, you know, I think it's nice to have a huge range of items um, so it fits any of your guest budgets. So if you wanna put something, and look, this is still something that's really convenient. Like you just need it, you know, it's just like random stuff. So you wanna give everybody the opportunity to get you something um, you know, something that fits everyone's budget, right? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna include all these, you know, smaller items on the wedding register wedding registry, I think I think it's fair. So so yeah. Um some other stuff that we have. All right, since we're on the topic of shredding cheese, um you're gonna need something to put that on. So this is a serving board. Um, so I love this one. So it looks like, unfortunately, this one sold out, but there are other items um, very similar. Actually, if you check George Jensen, George Jensen has a very beautiful selection of super stylish, very like, it's definitely for like the modern home kind of vibe. Um, everything is just very, it's just very, very cool. Um, so anything from this brand, um, it's also really good quality. Um, it's very chic. Um, and it looks super fancy. And, you know, there's definitely a lot of stuff on sale from George Jensen right now. Like this particular item sold out in a heartbeat because, I mean, it's pretty, it's very chic and very cool looking. And it was practically 50% off. Um, so, yeah, so if you keep checking Vera Shop, they have these amazing deals on home products. And, uh, yeah, this is, you know, a really great one. So since we're on the topic of serving boards, um, there is another one that I would love to feature. right here all right so small marble board so i have something really similar um from this brand so it's it's like this so this is basically the color um of that one and it's it's really nice and heavy um and that's basically what you want i mean for 21 dollars when you're basically getting a, a slab of marble let me tell you something marble is not cheap I, it's very rare that I find it on sale. Um, it's, it's hard to find really good quality, uh, items 
Um, that's fully marble and this one's a really good one and this one's really chic and it's really pretty. So all that cheese that we just kind of cut up, we can totally put that on there and make like a nice little cheese board. Um, so yeah, so this one's on sale for $21. I think that's a phenomenal price. Um, so yeah, so definitely take advantage of that. And then some other random kitchen items. So we're going to go back to Berghoff. Um, so this one. I like this one because, so I always keep two different types of cooking oils um, when I'm cooking. So I typically keep an olive oil and I like to cook with a grapeseed oil. So I love this one because it's very minimalistic. It's not, it's very chic. Uh, it kind of looks like a very scientific like beaker situation, but I, I like that. Um, and then it really makes the pour really easy and also another thing about this, this is super easy to keep clean um you know every time you kind of finish up the oil and you can throw this in the dishwasher um this stuff like just it just comes apart you can easily it will rinse out um super easy to keep clean which i think is super important because a lot of times you get oil stuck in a lot of these nozzles and this one's just not designed to look like that or, or be like that. Um, so yeah, really easy to keep clean, um, very chic. Uh, and yeah, I just keep this next to my stove and I love this. Um, so this one too on super sale right now, it is 50% off. You're going to get it for $29. That's a really great price. So take advantage of that. Let's see, there's so many other things. Um, so kind of going back to some nice pretty scents and some like chic minimalistic stuff that you can have. So Cinnamon Projects makes these really beautiful incense holders. Um, you know, if you're someone, you're a big fan of incense in your home, this one I thought was so pretty. Um, again, it's just like very, very minimalistic, very modern. Um, you know, makes for a really good gift. Um, and again, it's something that's budget friendly and, you know, really chic, just a really good gift all around. It's on sale for $42. So, um, you know, this was something I wanted to add to my registry. I was like, again, you want to make some budget friendly items and just kind of keep that on there and keep like a really nice range. Um, so people have options. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that one's a really beautiful one some other home items so this cnn co um zona hand woven pillow so i love pillows and everything in our home is pretty much white um there's definitely like a whole nice white theme going on in our living room and i love any of these white pillows and this one's really pretty this one's has like a nice uh shaggy look to it um anything hand woven it's just the material you can't beat the quality of it um you know stuff like this it just has a different feel and texture to it um you also feel you just know that it's going to last you a lifetime um these are really easy to clean too which i feel like is key you know if you're buying into something that's white colored you're like oh my god like what if i don't trust myself and i get wine all over it well i don't know about red wine but if you do get wine on it, you know, you could always get it off something like this with some OxyClean and it's totally fine. It's very easy to clean. Um, some other stuff on here. All right. So let's go to this caraway set. Um, so I love this entire set um, from caraway. So a cookware set, I feel like is a is definitely something that everybody needs in their home, right? You need to have a solid cookware set. Um, so this particular one, what I love about it is, this is actually, this is the Dutch oven one. Um, so this one's a really pretty blue. Um, so the thing about this is that they're ceramic. And you know, one thing um, that I did a lot of research on when I was buying, uh, when I was in the market for getting pots and uh, pans, is that, um, you know, I don't cook with nonstick. Um, I'm a huge, huge 
cook in the kitchen. Like I, I cook literally every single day. I love cooking more than anything. Um, you know, nonstick, a lot of nonsticks, what people might not realize is that the, the metal is actually toxic to food. And so over time, um, you know, you could be putting all these toxic into your body and you just have no idea, like over like a span of like 20 years, you've been using nonsticks forever. Um, the thing about ceramic is that it's non-toxic and that's a really big deal. Um, it's also really great with high heat. Um, you can easily brown stuff on it. Um, you know, it really caramelizes like you know, meats and stuff really well. Uh, I've made really delicious stews in these. Um, and yeah, and the one thing that I, d I do want to make sure that people know when they're buying into ceramic is that, uh, you know, there is some maintenance in terms of you can't use a metal spoon on it. Um, you know, you can only use wooden or plastic on it. You don't want to get scratches on it. Um, but, you know, when taken care of, these are excellent. Like they're really really fantastic um this particular one i love the color the caraway set comes in different colors i think it comes in a white and i think like two other colors but i love this blue one i thought it was really pretty and then some other things so since we're on the Dutch oven. So here is a much more, so that entire caraway set, that's a massive set, right? That's like a set of four pots and pans. If you're trying to do like a a la carte version of that, um, here's another one by Milo by Kana. Um, this small Dutch oven is definitely, this is a fantastic buy. So if you're looking at, you know, Dutch ovens and you're looking at some of the other brands, there's they're generally on the expensive side. Um, this price, $93 for a Dutch oven, is a really, really good price. Um, again, the thing about these Dutch ovens is that uh, they caramelize food really, really well, really great with high heat, um, really great for stews. Um, you know, that's pretty much what I use the Dutch oven for all the time. And, you know, anything really saucy with meats, I think it's just, it's really fantastic for that. Um, and again, this one by Milo um, is just a really, really good buy because you typically don't get Dutch ovens for this price. So definitely take advantage of this offer. I was really surprised. I was like, oh my God, this is such a good price for a Dutch oven. Um, let's see some other stuff. All right. So this one by Berghoff. All right, so we're going to go back to some kitchen essentials. So this is another one by Berghoff. Um, I actually realized that this one is the uh, less expensive, more budget-friendly one. The one that I'm featuring for you guys right now is uh, a, a set that's for $50. They actually have another set for six of them for $14.99. So if you want a budget-friendly option, this is fantastic. I just used these the other day. Um, the knife is super sharp and you can easily maintain these over time. The trick is do not put these in your dishwasher. Um, that's just a general rule, uh, general rule of thumb with lots of knives. Um, don't put them in the dishwasher, but this one's a really good quality one um, designed in Belgium. Uh, that's just where a lot of the good knives come from. And um, yeah, this one's just a really good budget friendly option. I thought $14.99 for an entire set. I think I got, I got six. That's a really, really good price. Um, again, the one that I'm featuring here right now, this one's an, a nicer, more elevated version if you're looking for like the design aspect of it is different on this one. Um, so this one's also a really good deal uh, if you're looking for like a fancier knife set. Um, but I got the budget version from Berghoff. So it's really nice that they have two different options. Um, and again, both, you know, great sets of steak knives, um, always need them for entertaining. So, you know, another really great option for your registry. And then I am going to show you guys, uh, one other item. So the next two, so I'm going to show you this really quickly. This one by Sejo, the French linen sham set and um there is a duvet cover here um so yeah so there's a duvet cover and sorry let me go back to 
that's set. Oh, seems like I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna go show you guys this duvet cover and this sham set by C. Joe. Um, so these are linen material. I decided to go with green. I love the color green. Um, it's very vibey. It also fits our bedroom really nicely. Um, so yeah, everything about this sheet set, I love a really nice linen set. They're really comfortable. They're really soft. The thing about linen, it's one of those things you wash it. They're very easy to wash. I think people are concerned sometimes, oh, is it going to wrinkle? Um, mine actually did not wrinkle that badly. You have to wash it in warm wash. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go take a look and see what this looks like. Um, I do hear my dog. Uh, my husband's in the bedroom too. So let's see. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, this is, this is Ernie. Say hi, Ernie. This is your debut. Ernie is not for sale. <laughs> so here we have a beautiful, um, set from C. Joe. So this one is made from linen. Um, again, I love the green color. There are also lots of other options. Um, I think there's like a, a neutral, more of like a neutral beige color. It's these really beautiful earthy tones. Um, you can see that it definitely, it didn't wrinkle like the way that I thought it was going to. Like sometimes these are really crazy. Again, you can put a good wrinkle block on your dryer. Um, but yeah, it's really nice and light and they're really, really nice to sleep on, um, you know, and when you kind of pair it up with other stuff, like I wanted to put it with this furry thing and then make a whole bedspread out of it, I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, this color really goes well. It's like a rustic, uh, you know, tone. Um, it goes with, we have some industrial furniture here, so I wanted something to kind of suit that vibe, and so yeah, I love this color. Um, they're really great summer sheets. Uh, you know, linen is just like really nice and light and airy to sleep on. So I figure this is something really great to have um, through the rest of summer until we switch it up for wintertime um, duvet stuff. So yeah, so this is pretty much the last of some of the items that I wanted to show you guys today. And um, thank you for joining me today. And I will see you guys here next week. Bye.